Intervention, Ben. Intervention. An intervention? Oh, how shitty. Who would say that? Oh, Jesus. You're great, though, just as you are, really. All right, all right. You win. Look at me. I'm outside. Great! Now for the walking part of the program. You can't even sitting there like a goddamn statue. The neighbors would complain. This is going to be great. Just look at yourself. What? You're on top of the game! What, because I'm walking? You're achieving. Oh, well, thanks, Jack. I, I'm really ready for this party now. I'm confident. But, uh, I knew you'd come around. You need to get out more anyway. I, I do get out. I yeah. did errands today and went for a walk in the woods. I actually saw daylight. I bought us more soap. You woke up at 2 o'clock. No, I saw daylight too then. I don't know about that, Jack. M maybe if it was reflected off the cereal box you were staring at for 45 minutes? I was playing the word scramble. Christ, Wilson. I'm sorry I'm such a goddamn suave motherfucker who gets girls to buy him drinks at the bar. I was really hungover. Yeah. Yes, you were. Hi. Hey. Ready, babe? Yeah, let's do it. your phone? Uh, yeah. Your wallet? Uh, yes. Okay, so, you ready to go out? Um, I am. I am so ready. Ready to be people of society. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ready to drink? To, to drink liquor? Possibly even gin? I think so. Okay. Yes. All right. Great. I would say you're ready. I am. I am so ready. Great. Great. <laughs> it's good one of us is ready. Mark. What? I, I didn't eat a big dinner and uh, I basically fell asleep reading upstairs. Sounds like you wanted to fall asleep. Oh, no, 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 no. I never even considered a nap, Marie. It never even crossed my mind. As I was upstairs reading earlier, studying the different kinds of elaborate napkin folds and rereading my book on new and exciting party tricks. Oh. <laughs> well, I could show you one right now if only you have a matchbox. I don't have a matchbox. Darn it. You'll have to wait then. I hate waiting. Well, most people spend their whole lives waiting, Marie, so you may as well get used to it. Waiting for what? Dinner, mostly. Tonight, I will drink less. Everybody should drink less. It's unhealthy. Do you have a resolution for tonight? I don't know. I didn't know I needed one. Make one. Go! I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe I'll, I'll walk more. I'm already off to a good start. Another one. A real one. No trying. Just doing. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll try to meet a young woman. You know, like a real fox. A fox. You know, like a, a young, forlorn... How young we talk? Soul-searching, idealistic fox. Hmm. What? Nothing, I was just saying, mm. Look, Jack, I played your game. What are you just saying? Oh, I don't, didn't really hear a lot of enthusiasm there, Wilbur. Great, of course. Well, it's just, do you want it bad enough? I think so. You think so? Well, yeah, it'd be nice to have a fox, so in, in that sense, yes. Fuck, man, are you prepared to kill for her? For this fox? Why would I kill for her? Oh, the young ones love that these days. Really? Oh, it's all the rage. Death. Sacrifice. 
what you're willing to lose in order to gain. Well, we'll see. I, I guess if I meet a fox, then I, I would kill for her. You really? Know? Well, uh, I guess I'd be willing to kill to meet a fox. Well, there's a difference. You know, I, I'd really be willing to kill anything as a, as a kind of sacrifice, you know? I don't see a man who would kill if kill was the last thing to do. <laughs> well, you don't know me. We live together, man. Last weekend I went back to the bar with you to get your fucking hat. Hey, that was my dad's hat. Had sentimental value, Jack. And all the same, this killing thing, it's a double bind, really. If I don't kill, then I'm too sentimental, too soft. If I do, then I'm a maniac. Madman. A psychopath. Yeah, you're fucked up. I'm outside the social order. I'm a lunatic. Hi, Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl. Ooh. Looking good, Cheryl. See you later, Cheryl. Oh, wow, Cheryl. You don't have to say anything. What a smoke show. Hey, why is, why is Cheryl walking away from the party? Come back, Cheryl! You know, she does have a boyfriend in the Navy. He's probably unfaithful, Cheryl. Men get lonely on boats. He's probably fucking a boat whore. I've seen pictures of him. In all likelihood, he is the boat whore. Cheryl would never be a boat whore. No, not in a million years. Hey, do you think that they'll have cocktail weenies? <laughs> um, I don't know. What do you think? It's Jeff and Sid's after all. Mmm, Jeff and Sid. Yep, Jeff and Sid. I think we covered that. Sure. Yep. What are you thinking? To be honest, I was thinking that I don't particularly like either of them. What don't you like about them? Nothing. It's just... I don't like them that much. Well, then why are we going? Marie, it is too late for these kinds of questions now. I don't know. I mean... It's good to get out, and because I think these are the things people like us should do. Why? Just consider it an obligation. Seriously? You think that's why everyone's going? Yeah. What a bad kind of party. An obligation party. Marie. I wouldn't know what to wear. Marie. Mark. We don't have to go. If you don't like them, then we don't have to go. No, it's fine. It's just, uh... What if there was no one else here? If it was just you in a vacuum, what would you want right now? Really? I'd want nothing but you, darling. I don't need anything else. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Except oxygen. We need oxygen. <laughs> Great. Perfect. It's settled then. Excellent. I will call my boss. I'll tell him our plans. I'll take a leave of absence. And I'll cancel my voicemail. I can see it now. Any and all calls will be sent directly to the vacuum. Mark. Our vacuum. <laughs> Marie, I'm, th I'm proactively thinking about the future for once. Hey. <laughs> I would want books in my vacuum and a desk in the corner of a room upstairs. Hmm. And quiet afternoons, probably. Yes? Yes. And what about me? Where am I? Yeah, so you could visit. Just visit? <laughs> Marie, uh, where do I live? Am I, am I in another vacuum? <laughs> we could be neighbors. I don't know. Mm. You know that I like being alone. I don't really like other people. Yeah, but I'm not other people. I, I mean, I'm not people. I'm Mark. It's just... What, being an only child? No. It's just hard being so close to someone that... You stop thinking of them as an audience and 
you know, instead consider them as part of, part of, part of the ensemble. Oh. So that's all I am, an ensemble. Mark, it's not an exact metaphor. As long as it's just a metaphor. Nothing but gingerbread left. Left, left, right, left. I left my wife and 44 children alone in the kitchen. I'm a terrible monster with nothing fulfilling. Left, 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 right, left. I'm a vacuum for feelings. Left, left. The holes in my sleepers. Left, left. Give me your pennies. Left, 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 right, left. Banana, 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 left. You know, being a lunatic, it sounds exhilarating, doesn't it? Maybe. I, I think lunatics are generally misunderstood, though. It would be a sad life, you know? Constantly misunderstood. Like having a list. Like sometimes I get this thing where I'm standing in line and I want to bludgeon everyone I see with the blunt end of a blunt object. Am I misunderstood? Pronto. Oh, Roger, you sound a bit crazy right now. I don't, I don't feel crazy. Okay, maybe not like lunatic level, but... That's definitely not normal. Oh, and you're normal. More normal, I'd like to think. Although, I was on the bus this one time, coming home from work, and I don't know what happened. I started getting this strange feeling, you know? Is this after you broke up with Lucy? Like, I would look at other people, but all I could see were like eyes in the eye sockets, bones in the body. It's crazy, man. And, and then I, I couldn't even fathom they could comprehend anything. I mean, anything in a meaningful way. So what would it matter what I did to them, you know? Like, if I bludgeoned him, like, what would that even matter? If you bludgeoned this guy? Fuck. Yeah, if I bludgeoned him and, and, and all of his brain fluid went streaking down onto the seat cushion, what then? You gotta think about it like this. What's the worst that can happen? I drive a spike into your chest. Bang! You're dead. Or at least a really bad state of it. What's the worst that can come of that? Blood? The paperwork? God's gone. He doesn't care anymore. Uh, an ambulance. A doctor. Oh, maybe a hot doctor like they have in the Ah, uh, yes. And in that case, great. Suppose we burn the house down tonight. Suppose we douse it in lighter fluid. Throw a cigarette. And hear the screams of the dying underscored by the throbbing techno music. <laughs> Suppose that. What is that? Is that empowering or depressing? It's empowering. It's touching yourself in your living room when your parents have left for vacation. Oh, how glorious. It's exhilarating, mostly. It's freedom, or as close as we're gonna get. Are you feeling liberated? Because I'm feeling fucking liberated. Okay, okay, you win. Suppose we've rediscovered our freedom as two young men. What then? Yeah, well, that's the $64,000 question, Wilson. You gotta give me some time. All right, then. Fair enough. Yeah, it's a nice night out. Let's keep it nice. Okay. Yeah. Ah. We're off to a nice party. We're gonna talk to some nice people. We've had a nice glass of wine. Good. Now, what could go wrong? Nothing should. Okay. But it could if you say something to Jack. Well, that's almost nearly always the case, isn't it? 
You can almost always say something to someone to put them in a bad mood. Sid feels terrible about it, really. I mean, yeah, I suppose. But also, in this day and age, kudos to Sid for exploring, right? Well, yes, I suppose so, although she was in a relationship. Is in a relationship. Yeah. I mean, uh... You know, I think I've always wanted to explore. I think I would have been a good explorer. For Sid? What? With no, Sid? No, 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 no. Definitely not with Sid. Sid's like a woolly mammoth. Nice, Mark. What? No, just so much hair. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Hello? Yes? Yes, this is he, actually. <laughs> yes, this is he. <laughs> The Smithsonian Zoo is on the line, Marie. And Mark, the stop! Hold on a sec, they're breaking up. Yes, hello! 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 Shut oh, up, Oh, God, Mark. stop, sorry. <laughs> the reference number, yes, okay, yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, I probably shouldn't tell you this, <laughs> but between you and me, the Smithsonian Zoo was looking for a swan just now. A beautiful, <laughs> elegant, feminine swan, and I told them I have one. I got one right here. Mark. Sorry. Jeez. Okay. Wait, come here. <laughs> Shall I compare thee to a summer's day, my swan? My elegant swan? My gorgeous duck blossom, my elegant, elegant, elegant morning mist. Mark. <laughs> Hello, mailbox. What do you have for me, mailbox? Stop it! Fuck! 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 Yes, and how are you? I'm very well. Yes. Good to see you too. Yes. I'm doing quite well. Look at me. Look at me! Well, all right, what's the game plan then? What do you mean? We're going to a party, Jack. Who's on your roster? Starters or bench included? Starters. Starters only. Well, leadoff has got to be Rebecca Hutcherson. Oh, yeah, the Hutch. Yeah, she's a real speed demon. Fire on the base paths. You can imagine what kind of heat she's packing. Oh, what makes her first? It's simple, Wilson. She never strikes out. It's important for your first one that she keeps the ball in play. All right, OK, sure. Who's next? Katie Sloan. Not your most powerful bet, but she's willing to lay down a bun if she has to. I'd like to see some sacrifices on your starting lineup. You're willing to make sacrifices at this point in your life? To even demand sacrifices? 
This is a team sport, Wilson. A team sport. If I win, everybody wins. Okay. All right. Sure. And then for the most important part of the lineup, uh, the closer. You know, the rest of the lineup, they just you know, fill the holes or see the metaphor through, gets their holes. Okay, really, man? The fourth spot is the one that sends them all home. I, I don't know. I, I don't get it yet. Who is this? Big Annie Austin. Definitely not the prettiest. But if you throw her a fastball, she'll eat it all the way up. Big time slugger. Or at least that's what Rob said when he fucked her. Oh, Jesus, Jack. You've really got this all planned out, don't you? I am the most serious man, Wilson. You know that. I know, I know. There's just one thing I'm wondering about, though. What's that? Well, you know, to see the metaphor through completely. I mean, you know, for consistency. Where are we going with this? Well, you know, on a baseball team, they're all teammates, you know? Mm. They all practice together, hell, yeah. they shower together. That's fantastic. They're united by a common goal. You're assuming that these girls have made the conscious decision that giving you the pleasure of sleeping with them is of the utmost importance. Isn't it? You just might not be for everybody, Jack, is all I'm saying. I'm every woman's man, even if they don't know it yet. You're a man of revelations, a true prophet. I am a man of the future. I am whatever's coming. Hey. You look beautiful tonight, Marie. You don't have to say that. No, but I, I mean it though. You're the prettiest girl that I know. <laughs> I mean, I like, I like uh, the shape of your mouth. I, I like how much you like your, your ears. Uh, um, I like, Mark, yeah. I mean it. You don't have to say those things. Just. Don't say them. But I, no, 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 no. But I mean them, though. I really mean them. Like, uh, I mean, I can, I can think of other things. Have... Yeah, yeah. I can think of other things to say if you really want me no, to. Um, uh, some new material. My. You shouldn't uh, always say what you mean. My exquisite. Mark, I mean it. Dog pedal. I no, mean it's weird. it. Uh, Mark, I. My ravishing cloud. I mean the... it. What? Oh. I don't oh. need you to say those things. I don't want to hear them. Marie, what? I don't want to hear nice things, Mark, or things that you think are nice. Well, what do you want, then? What do you want, Marie? I don't know. Well, do you want me to say bad things, terrible no, things? Mark, I can, I can no, think of those, I too. I mean, I just, I just don't want to. I don't want you to, either. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're kind of scaring me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll stop, okay. I'll stop. Okay. Let's have a nice night.